Hey, what up? This is Mr. Trigger coming to you from Skid Row Tattoo in downtown Los Angeles. I'm going to be bringing you on tattoo stories from some of the sickest artists in the game. Brought to you from Sanction TV and Maker Studio. Each week, we're going to show you these artists' best ink on celebrity clientele, all the way to homies in the hood. Today, we're going to head to downtown to Skid Row Tattoo and talk to Tattoo Tony. Currently, I go by Tattoo Tony. Um, tattoo here at Skid Row Tattoo, downtown LA. I was born and raised in uh, Antelope Valley, and then got out of there in my teenage years and moved to uh, the San Fernando area. And then uh, from there, just bounced all over LA. I started tattooing in uh, 1992. I've always drawn my whole entire life, and um, but like I grew up in the era where artists were kind of considered the nerds, you know what I mean? Like they didn't, no, everybody was into sports and stuff. Nobody wanted to like be in the band or be a, you know, not a tattoo artist, but just an artist, you know? But I've always known how to draw my whole entire life, you know what I mean? So the only time I ever really took anything serious about art, and it wasn't even serious, it was just like in high school, I took an art class and, uh, and I, just to get an easy A, like the fools be taking PE. So I took an art class and then after that, like I was just living my life, doing my thing. So Stage was, was already tattooing. So I went to his boss and I asked him, you know, like, hey, could you teach me how to tattoo? And he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll apprentice you, but it's gonna cost you like 10 G's. And I was just like, if I had 10 G's, I wouldn't even be coming to you and shit. I'd be straight for the year, you know? You could make 10 G's go a long ways, you know, back in 1992. So he was like, I'll tell you what, just uh, you're gonna bring customers in and uh, I'll tattoo them and I'll let you watch me. And I'm like, that sounded good because, you know, it, it's better than a 10 G deal, you know? And back then, man, like, Spalding and Rogers was like real big. It was in every tattoo magazine and they had a kit and you could get whatever. So I just ordered all my equipment and I just started tattooing from there. And the one thing that I had, you know, backing me up or supporting me back then was the, uh, just the fact that I knew how to draw. Like not knowing how to tattoo, you could just see it. Technically it was just horrible, you know? But the, the design always looked good. And, I just kind of built up a portfolio and I went into like the local tattoo shop and faked it and just said, you know what, I've been tattooing for like five years when I only was like four months under my belt. But my portfolio looked all right. So they gave me a job and just from there, man, it just snowballed. I fucking have met so many people, badass artists that are in this industry or whatever, you know, and gone, traveled and been international for a minute. Like, you know, I've, I've experienced a lot in this uh, career man and I ended up going to Las Vegas and tattooing out there and um, Cartoon stayed out here in Hollywood and I think he was working with Baby Ray and and, uh, and guys like that you know Bob Roberts and stuff and uh, so I just kind of got stuck in Vegas for a hot minute and then afterwards came back and there was really I think I think at the time like I think Cartoon was just you know starting to build up his uh, his current empire I think it was about maybe six months ago now cartoon uh, called me up and just said you know hey you want to I got a spot here at Skid Row if you want to if you want it it's yours you know and so like six months ago I came back and it's kind of cool because it's like it's like we never left you know what I mean like we practically lived together for three months in the shop in Japan, you know, in 97, and everything just has a real good normal feel to it right now. The car that I got, my uh, my Shagmobile, um, is a 1969 Chevrolet Impala. Um, it's basically a full custom show car that I just drive, and uh, I probably, man, the amount of money that I got into that car I got the most expensive paint that you can get on my whole car, you know. A gallon, I think at the time when I got it was like 1200 bucks. 
and the painter needed three gallons and I've just gone through quarts and pints and just in the paint alone I think I probably got close to eighteen thousand to twenty thousand dollars you know and a lot of it's just materials the rest of the car got a full custom interior engine compartments done trunks done whole cars done I probably I probably say I got a, at least like thirty eight to forty thousand dollars invested in my car I took the motor out of another car, put it in that car, chromed and painted everything in the engine compartment, um, updated the suspension on it, and then I put in uh, hydraulics so I could go up and down, and um, had a full custom paint job and pen striping done on it by the top painter and striper in the lowrider world back then, and uh, took it to one of those like high dollar hot rod shops and got my interior done just to get it to where you know it looks now I've, I've it debuted in 2003 in Del Mar at the good guys car show and uh, so I'd like to say it's officially been done since 2003